So today we're going to try to make butter by hand. And what I've got here is some double cream. This is what we call double cream in the UK. It's 47% fat. It's the cream skimmed off the top of milk when milk is left to settle. So we're going to be churning, well, we're going to be processing this cream into butter by hand. So we're going to put a quantity of this cream in a bowl. Uh, let's say about that much. So here's the thing, when I say by hand, I literally mean by hand. We're not going to use a whisk, we're not going to put this in a jar and shake it. We're going to just gently beat it with my clean fingers. I have just washed my hands, by the way, so germaphobes, if this still offends you, maybe this isn't the video for you. Now, I learned this technique on a... Iron Age cookery course that I went on last weekend at the Butzer Ancient Farm in South Downs. The course was led by Caroline from Pario Gallico and we did a number of things on this course and it was really quite interesting. We did some Iron Age cooking basically. We made beef and barley stew, we made butter, we made cheese and we made bread, but the butter was the thing that really was a revelation to me because I've made butter by hand before by shaking it in a jar or by whisking it with an electric whisk. But what I've never done is seen this technique before. Now just what I've been talking, look, look what's happening here. This cream has suddenly thickened and all I'm doing is just beating it with my fingers and I just keep going past this point just keep on beating past this point and we'll see we'll we'll start to overbeat it now and it goes granular in texture we can see a sort of graininess appearing now and what amazed me about this was just how quickly it works see when I've made butter before by whisking it I it seemed like I was whisking for a long time and certainly if you put it in the jar and shake it I mean that's just a way of keeping kids occupied for a Saturday morning isn't it? Um, give them a jar of cream and say shake that until you've got butter and they may well be shaking that jar for half an hour or longer before they get any sign of butter appearing. I think I've probably got a little bit too much for this dish but the principle is the same, it's working here. We can now see that we're starting to get separation of buttermilk and butter and so And so we just keep on going, and this video is pretty much in real time. I really haven't cut anything out apart from a couple of little verbal stumbles here and there, which I will edit out in the post. But there we go. So after, I don't know, what was that, two minutes? We've started to get a block of butter here. And now I just massage this butter and I squeeze out the buttermilk which is going to be trapped in little pockets inside the butter isn't that amazing how quickly that actually worked so now what I can actually do is we'll set that buttermilk aside now this buttermilk can be used for enriching bread or we could just drink it But now I've got a bowl of cold water. I'm just going to wash that butter to wash any last traces of buttermilk out of it. So it's just a case, question of giving it a little massage in that water. And if we were going to use it straight away, this would not be all that important actually, because um, it wouldn't matter if there was a little bit of buttermilk in there. It would just make it taste a bit more creamy. But if we want this to last, we have to wash out the buttermilk because that's the that's the part of the butter which would spoil most readily. So there we go, we've given that a bit of a wash. And now over here on my clean tray, we're just going to give that a little bit of a squish 
we're going to add a little bit of salt. Just going to massage in a little bit of salt because again that will assist with the keeping qualities of this butter. It will just help to preserve it. So just going to give that a little knead to mix the salt in. And now I'm just going to transfer my butter into a little pot for storage. So And there it is. Okay, well, we've got to try this out, haven't we? So I've got some nice toast here, still warm from the toaster. The butter is soft because it's not been in the fridge. Let's have a generous spread of that butter on this toast. And give it a taste. Now I am committing a crime here by putting a knife back into the butter pot and potentially contaminating it with crumbs, but I don't think that's going to be a problem because I have a feeling this butter is not going to last very long. That is, I'm probably going to eat it quite quickly. So no real massive surprises here, it's just delicious creamy fresh butter. But I think what's remarkable here is how low effort that was. and. We don't know if people in the Iron Age made butter this way, but when you consider low effort means low energy, which means survival, essentially, it seems quite likely that they might have discovered this. So thanks so much, Caroline, for showing me this technique. There's all kinds of interesting links in the video description. Be sure to check those out. That's how to make butter in just a few minutes, completely by hand. I hope that was interesting. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.